Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at the new product from Motorsport Electronics called the Nodis Micro. This is based on our Nodis Pro system. Uh, it has all the great features of the Nodis Pro in that it determines that it will run a ZTEC or a Vauxhall or a Peugeot engine straight out of the box using factory sensors and factory coil packs. It has the coil drivers built in. It provides full 16x16 16 16 fully 3D interpolated ignition mapping. And this unit differs from the Nodis Pro in that it's provided as a PCB only. You'll need to connect the wiring connections yourself, um, as well as choose on a casing style yourself. Although it's designed to be hidden into wiring looms, tucked away out of sight, uh, mainly designed for OEMs to incorporate into their own boxes. And in general, just a smaller, more compact version of the Nodis Pro. It lacks a couple of more advanced features from the Nodis Pro, namely the programmable outputs, launch control and uh, switchable maps. However, it does still feature 3D sensory input for the load sensor, being either manifold pressure or throttle position. Two coil drivers, so it can run up to four cylinders. Uh, On-built VR decoding, so you connect your crank sensor directly to this system uh, using a coaxial shielded cable with support for either 36 minus 1 or 60 minus 2 triggering and also a 12 volt tachometer output to drive your dashboard taco. It also features Bluetooth, so you can use our very popular Android digital dashboard application as well as map it using the same easy tune software that you would use for the Nodis Pro. In terms of casing the unit, a couple of options are available. One example that we use is clear heat shrink tubing so that you can see the LEDs to show the status of the unit and then just hot melt glue gun the ends. We've used the same wiring style as our Nodis Pro so we have a nice thick coax, shorted coax cable for the crank sensor, coil wires, throttle wires, power and ground and then by hot gluing them in there we've made the unit completely watertight so it's fully submersible and with Bluetooth connectivity it will actually work underwater as well which is quite impressive. Um, so you know for off-road vehicles or industrial plants or anything that requires to be in quite a, a messy environment this is absolutely perfect for those applications. Please see our other videos for a run through of EasyTune and how to map a Nodis. This applies to both the Nodis Pro and the Nodis Micro. Okay, so in terms of actually wiring these things up, you've got, you've got about seven connections to worry about. First of all, you have your coil connections at this end, coil A, B, and the ground connection, which is a thick ground connection, which, which is ground for the whole unit. At the other end, you have your crank position sensors, which is three wires. You have your positive wire of your VR sensor, your negative wire of your VR sensor, and the shield. Our coaxial wire we use has a shield wire running down it, so we always earth it locally to the board, which stops any crank position interference. You have your 12 volt signal at the top here, which is your switched ignition live, and you have your tachometer output here in the top middle there. On the bottom, you have your throttle position sensor inputs, your sensory ground, your 5 volt reference line, and your signal wire. So solder these connections in. By all means, use the wire keep hole. So you put, solder the wire, then tuck it through and out. And same at the other end to keep things a bit more secure and tidy. Uh, the Bluetooth module is usually installed on top here. Uh, but we do that, we do that, it goes on the back. And other than that, the, with the core drivers built in and the crank decoder all built in down here, it's literally a case of just fitting it and running it. The base map supplied will get pretty much any engine up and running. It's quite a safe map, um, but you can obviously add advance and tune it quite easily with the EasyTune software. The unit is designed as an OEM system, so generally speaking we would work with uh, manufacturers that plan on using the system to run their engines, such as small volume kit car manufacturers, and work out with them the loom specification they would like and the casing requirement they would like, um, such that we can build them in, in batches of 5 or 10s to run a certain type of car engine, preload it with a base map of their choice, or, or you know custom map their car at our rolling road in, in Wiltshire here. And from there, they would have a nice easy system they can just click on and run without having to worry too much about the ignition side of things. Of course, fueling would be carried out with carburettors, but generally speaking, a very straightforward system to install and use. So what do you get when you order a Nodis Micro? Well, as I've said, it's an OEM system, so it will literally be the PCB. The Bluetooth module will be fitted onto the back for you, and that's it. You will need to solder the wires in yourselves. Uh, we have recommendations for the wire types to use, as well as full wiring diagrams. And you'll also get the Bluetooth module for the USB, which you'll be able to plug into your PC or laptop to enable you to link up and tune the system.